Greetings and salutations. One of the biggest problems is when uh, people do extensions and they bond into uh, the existing building from obviously this new extension. I'm going to show you a little bit more of it there. We're on a scaffold as you can see. Okay. Now what seems to happen is, is uh, the building actually came away. You can see the joint at the top. It wasn't that big. We raked it out, but it actually came away about 10 mil. Um, so the building is at this building is pulling away from that building so when they've built it uh, as you can see they've only put these little strap these little ties in and uh, as I say, I'm not even touched it but you can see how loose it is or how much the building has pushed against it it's got one little screw in it which uh, is not advisable at all let's see if we can pull it off there you go you can bend them and you can pull it off so you can tell uh, exactly the strength in that what you want to do is kind of uh, take all these bricks out next to the wall, tooth it all out nice and gently, use a drill, drill a series of holes, uh, grinder maybe to get it out, keep it nice and clean, don't get any mix down the back of the cavity, uh, which really the cavity is this stuff, which uh, isn't, the, isn't the right stuff anyway, I don't know why they're using that. Um, so idea is, is use one of these straps, okay, these straps here. And what they do is you screw them through these holes or bolt them should I say, don't put any screws in them or frame fixings, anything like that's gonna be really tight, makes its own grip. You, you, you take it, you bend it off there. Once it's ripped off, there you go. This uh, section there goes into that section there, slides through and obviously then goes down to whatever uh, joint or width that you're doing. So idea is, is take uh, the existing ones off, place these ones in its space where it should be, bolt it to the wall and then obviously brick it back up trying to salvage the bricks you don't want to break them because they're one i don't know where you're going to get these from uh they're a bit unusual bricks so i don't want to be hunting around spending days looking for these just for like a couple of bricks if i need to uh so again uh, what happens when the building separates from uh, the existing building it uh, starts to crack and obviously move away uh ideally they should have uh, put uh, a joint all the way through there to stop any penetration going through bit of damp proof course you don't have to go all the way through i mean you know it's better if you do but i prefer to kind of like keep a bit of strength in the building rather than to do one straight cut others might say differently but again you do your cut on the inside of the cavity slide a piece of damp proof in wherever you could do the cut and then obviously then no water or dampness can get through past that point it drips down straight into uh into the cavity in a way okay so uh i didn't think i was going to do anything like this but uh there you go oh a quick hint as well is when you are putting these bricks back um let's uh, get you a brick hang on all right hard to do that let's say that brick's going back into there once you've done all the ties the idea obviously put your bed on there there's my nail that's broke thanks a lot put your your bed on there bed on the top uh, on the side bed on the bottom and when it comes to this section put a bit of a, a mix across the top of it and uh, when you come to a point it make sure that you fill in a lot of cement all the way as much as you can it's very important that you get it filled in easiest way to do is fill it as best you can first get a piece of wood probably about five mil thick or whatever the joint is and then uh, poke it poke it shove it all to the back make sure it's well compact point it again and then poke it point it and then flush it and finish it off so uh easiest way to do that because i've seen many people they've put the brick in they've gone oh la -de da i can't be bothered pointing all that section they put a little bit about an inch over the front face it off they think that's good enough it looks exactly the same when you finish but believe me it's gonna start cracking like that you know if you uh if you don't fill it properly so there you go bonding one wall to the other be seeing you.